Adequate planning and preparation can make brick construction possible in virtually all weather conditions. For the sake of this discussion, normal weather conditions will be anything from 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold weather is referred to in our information, our written information, as anything below 40 degrees. Hot would then be anything above 100 degrees. Just one thing we might add, if it's 90 degrees or more with a wind, um, 8 mile an hour wind or more, it's about the equivalent of 100 degrees. So, in some conditions, hot weather would start at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Really, it seems to me that most of the things that we have in our technical information is just common sense practices. For example, if it's very hot outside, it's 90 or 100 degrees, would it not make sense to have the materials that will end up in the wall, the brick, the sand, even the water, somehow out of direct sun, in the shade if possible, to keep it as cool as possible until it's laid. When mixing mortar, if cool water could be used, rather than just filling up a water barrel and let it sit out there and boil in the sun, fresh water when the mortar is made. Once the mortar is ready to dump into a pan, if cool water could be placed in it first to kind of cool down the metal in the pan, and on the mortar boards, if they could be sprinkled frequently with cool water during the day. As the mortar's tempered, retempered, cool water should be used. And uh, becomes even more important in hot weather to try to make sure you use the mortar within a two hour period of time after it's mixed. As architects and designers, you want to write some of these things into your specifications so it doesn't slip by those on the job site. Cold weather conditions. Let's say it goes below freezing, and now during the day it's warmed up to about 40 degrees, and the masons are ready to begin work. But the units could be covered with ice or frost. They shouldn't be laid in that condition. They should be warmed up first. Proper hydration to the mortar. Proper bonding can't take place with ice on the face of that brick. And obviously, anything below 32 degrees, the building might have to be shrouded for 24 hours or maybe 48 hours if it's below zero so that the mortar can cure. And some heat would have to be added inside that shroud. But brick can be laid in all types of weather conditions. If you'd like more information on that, just look at our website at our technical notes on brick construction. In fact, the one on hot and cold weather is tech note number one.